Welcome back, Found Mouth Fishing. It's uh, MTV time. So this is January's 2021 Mystery Tackle Box Elite. Um, I've had this for a couple days, but uh, I've been working six days a week, so I finally got some time on this Sunday afternoon to roll this out for you. Uh, MTV is a subscription box, just like Monster Pass and all the others. Um, I've pretty much been... I'm not a loyalist to any brand, but I've been pretty impressed overall. However, I have to admit that in recent times with everything that's happened, um, there's been some some doubtable or you know minute slippage in uh, in their baits. I look forward when I when I open these and I look at them. I want to see box baits that are um, kind of useful during the time period when they arrive. So in January, we're looking at cold water. Um, I'm looking for muted tones. I'm looking for slow roll baits, uh, a lot of bottom baits, jigs and stuff like that. Uh, you know, jerk baits that are down deep divers, stuff like that. So we'll see what comes in this box. Last month, I was kind of shocked. We had some, we had topwater frog in it. It just didn't seem uh, like the bait that would work for this time of year. However, that said, the caveat is these boxes go nationally. So there are people in Texas, there are people in Florida, there are people in California where there is top water all year round, basically. Um, so that would fit. But for me here in New, in New Jersey, Mike Iaconelli territory, um, you know, frogs during January, frogs during December, it's not, a, it's not a thing. Anyway, let's crack into this January 2021 MTV Elite. Uh, I need something to cut this open. All right. All right. Alrighty, so, first looks, somewhat, somewhat filled, alright, with every MTB, there's going to be a little scale on the back where you can uh, take a photo with a fish uh, that you catch, panfish or whatever, enter it on their website, they give away small boat prizes, you know, discounts, uh, uh, store credits, etc. Um, they come with the Dibbles Digest pamphlet. Uh, this month of January, I've got fluorocarbon fishing line and swim jigs fishing 101. Those two definitely are winter winter criteria. Fluorocarbon is basically invisible under the water. It reflects and refracts the light so the fish can't see the line. Uh, fluorocarbon, it's a sinking bait, so it'll get your bait or sinking line, so it'll get your baits down deeper during the cold weather time. Uh, and of course, swim jigs. Now, don't mind that even in cold weather, reaction and action baits are usable. You don't have to do uh, strictly, you know, uh, like slow rolling baits. They will still chase fish. They will. They're just a little bit more particular as to whether or not they're going to attack. They're not going to expel energy if they don't see a larger uh, return on that, on that effort to attack a prey fish. So that's the key. So let's find the, what's in the box card. Go. Today's what's in the box card comes with two, four, six, eight, nine, nine items. There's that if you'd like to peruse it. Top bait is going to be a river to sea bait for eleven ninety nine. So moderate price range. I like to see baits um, in the in the twelve, fourteen, fifteen dollar range, and then like you know down to the package of hooks for a buck ninety nine or whatever, just to see a good return. On my on my purchase price, we'll start off number one for eleven dollars and ninety nine cents, the most expensive item in the box this month, a river to sea goon. So I see goon on the back. So here we have a fifteen sixteenths ounce, so almost a full ounce, um, two and five eighths inch long, long bill, 
diving crankbait. Now this is a Scott Martin design, the goon. I can tell you that before I uh, see any peripherals. What do I got for information on this? Oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> Scott Martin's goon. Uh, 68F, it is delta red. Um, so it's a, you know, like a crawl red pattern. Uh, yeah, I was aware of Scott Martin's design on these uh, a while back. So you've got this really cool deep cup lip, um, pretty sticky hooks, very sticky hooks actually, in that red to that blackish coffee grind kind of color on the back, that burnt coffee color rolls down to that crawl. And it's got a little yellow chartreuse uh, color swatch on the chin. That is awesome. Deep diver. Let's see what the uh, diving characteristics on this are. Um, do they even list it? They got to list it. Come on. RTC, you got you to gotta list your information here. I got your five or two and five eighths inch and your 15 16 weight, but I don't have a diving depth. Certainly not a shallow runner, that's for darn sure. I guess 68F is going to be six to eight feet diving depth. Certainly, he's not going to go down 68 feet. So, six to eight feet, I'm going to go with uh, as an assumption on what they have listed on the back. Again, there you can have, you can see the Scott Martin on there. Uh, 68F. Good. A good winter bait. It dives deep. Um, it's a, a bright red color. This is good for your stained and muddy water. Um, so that's a good one. So right off the bat, pretty good diving bait. Let's set this aside. I like that. Again, $11.99. Next up, uh, from Strike Pro, $9.99. What do we got from Strike Pro here? Strike Pro. All right. Again, here's a great color scheme right there. This is great for winter. It's that muted tones with a little bit of flash. So for your clear water days, clear cold water, you've got this chromish bottom with that auburn amber gold tone that rolls over to a deep, rich, dark brown, root beer brown on the back. Wide lip. It's got that, that um, uh, spade cut style heart shaped lip that gives you a really deep wobble. So it's not going to wiggle in the water like this. It's actually going to roll side to side as it's being drugged by the design of this, this lip. I've seen that in other baits. This one they're going for $9.99, the Strike Pro Brixer. Um, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. You've got uh, three and nine sixteenths of an inch. It weighs five sixteenths of an ounce, and this is a four and a half to six foot diving jerk bait. So we'll put that back in the box. That I like. It's, they call it the secret weapon. Um, the color on it again is called Breakster ninety, A Y U U, A Y U. Hmm. All right, I like that tournament great hooks. That's not bad for ten bucks. Um, I'd pay that. Next up for eight dollars and twenty nine cents from Lunker Hunt. This is their Gambit swim bait. So you got the Lunker Hunt. I've had this in the past. Um, so the Gambit is this soft very soft, pliable, spongy plastic, uh, or yes, plastic bait. It's a swim bait. It's jointed in four sections. You got your tail, two mid, mid tail sections and the head. And uh, it's a really good um, starter introduction into a, a swim bait, especially if you're one who likes to work jigs with flukes on the end, paddle tails and hardtail flukes. Um, this will give you that, that swim bait introduction before you go into the resin cast or the solid wood, or you know the actual expensive high grade, higher end uh, swim baits. Um, this is a five eighths ounce and four and a half inches, so that's pretty cool. And it's in that nice pattern. It's got a little bit of a chartreuse kick on the tail, uh, but it's got that nice normal bait fish tone to it or pattern to it. So I like that. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna add that to my July uh, Christmas in July giveaway. Liquid Mayhem's Thrust Minnow. $7.49. So here we got something from Liquid Mayhem. All right, so we got 
There's sunfish colored thrust minnow, five pack, five inch. All right, it's got their freshwater series uh, scent in there. Uh, I've gotten lots of liquid mayhem scents in the past. I've got, obviously I got the bait fish smell. I've got the last time in the other box, we had the, um, the uh, night crawler, large tube, and then the bait fish in a smaller tube. That was pretty cool. These bluegill pattern uh, colors always work year round. Um, they're excellent because it gives you that green pumpkin bottom. It gives you a dark tone on the top. So anything from clear water to murky, muddy water, um, a good quality dark bluegill with a, a, a pale under, underbelly will always uh, work across those water uh, stain kind of varieties or variants. So that's pretty cool. Liquid Mayhem again, seven forty nine. Five pack, five inch with the scent. That's a good value. Put that aside. I like that. That's good. Um, Guggen Squad Zinger. Obviously, RTB Catch Co. is going to have a ton of Guggen's introductions because they are uh, brand on brand support. So we've got the sexy shad color of their Zinger uh, Spinnerbait. Um, Three eighths ounce, and they call this, or they have two Colorado. No, this is right. So we have a Colorado number two and a Willow number four, which I kind of actually do appreciate that. So on the back, it actually tells you the blade and not only just it's a Colorado and a Willow, but the two sizes. So if you'd like to update uh, your blades in the future, you can go swap out. There's many manufacturers. You can go on Tackle Warehouse and get replacement blades. If you wanted to go up to a size five on your on your Willow leaf or go down uh, to a you know, bigger, you could always go up and down size if you wanted to tune this in a different way. However, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not a fanboy of Guggen's. I'm not a detractor of Guggen's squad. To me, it is what it is. They are uh, a brand where they have a lot of stuff that is absolutely excellent and quite a few things that are playing on the fact of their celebrity that are people are just jumping on the bandwagon just like Favorite was with their, with their rods or uh, 13 Fishing with some of their reels. It is what it is, and it is a buyer beware situation. You might have just as much luck on a Guggen Squad uh, Zinger for six dollars and forty nine cents as you could on a dollar store, um, you know, bait from Walmart. It's always about your ability to work those baits in a specific manner in the proper situations uh, with the right overall, you know, I don't know what you want to call it, the right, the right concentration of specific fish. So where this would shine would be, you know, obviously in a, in a section shad, um, shiner, shad, minnows, in bait balls, run this through, um, you know, across grass lines, run it through, flash and vibration, draw out bass. You're not going to use this in other situations. So that being said, good bait. I've heard great things about the spinner baits from Guggen Squad. They run true. I have a few. I haven't had any issues with them so far. So that's a good thing. Uh, again, that zinger they have for six forty nine, and that is a very reputable price. It's not they're not playing on that. Oh, our our zinger bait, which costs us you know a dollar twelve to make, let's uh, let's charge thirteen dollars for it because it's got the Guggen Squad name on it. So I, I respect that. Weston. Now here's another company that does jack those prices up. Weston's Stickworm. Let's see what that is. It's a Stickworm. So Weston, this is a brand that uses their name to inflate their costs or their prices to you. These are a, uh, made in China, of course. They're stickworm. It's a five inch, five count. They're interesting in their design. I'll pull it out of the pack, pack for you. These are $5.99. So basically, you know, a dollar plus each worm. I don't know. I, I prefer not to spend a dollar for each, uh, you know, Senko that I buy, even if it was a Gary Yamamoto. But the interesting design about these, and I'll bring it up, it's black blue, black with blue flake, lots of uh, multi-sized flakes in there. The thing that's key to this is you've got the round bottom, but the top is cut flat. So you can see that it's blunt. And then they have a hook notch right there for when you Texas rig it. You see the little hook slot right there. Um, you could also wacky rig it. And if I was wacky rigging this, I would honestly wacky rig it with the flat side down. 
because as that's falling, that extra displacement is going to probably cause a little bit different reaction than the keeled side, which might actually roll back and forth. So you could probably get more of a flutter if you do flat side down, and you're probably going to get more of a undulation and a rocking as you as you uh, are wacky rigging this downward with the keeled side down. It is hook slotted on both the top and the bottom, just so you're aware. It's a shallow slot on the on this keeled side and a deeper groove, obviously, on the flat side. But uh, yeah, that's a nice worm. I mean, it's it's a good, pliable, very pretty stretchy plastic. You can hear the, the crunching, so I believe it's salted. I would assume it's a slightly salted plastic. Um, again, you are paying that Weston name brand price for $5.99 for a pack of six. They do package them really nicely in these clamshells. Um, their suggestions, oh, yeah, ideal for Texas rigging. Weedless design. Uh, says it has a nasty worm scent, but I don't smell anything besides the plastic salt. But, uh, and it is, um, you know, it's, it's more um, healthy for you. It doesn't have any phyllis eights in it for, uh, for danger, for, for harmful to the environment. So uh, that's pretty cool. Not bad. Black blue again, five ninety nine. Three to go. Dynamic Lures Sneak Attack Swim Jig. Now here's a company I'm not privy to. Dynamic Lures Sneak Attack. Okay. So you've got. Um, this is not a company I'm really familiar with. Dynamic Lures. It's got a four pack with two jig heads. <clears throat> a little soft plastic, you know, <clears throat> made in China, small swim baits with their jigs. So jigs in their trailers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not bad. Good color, you know, green pumpkin, red flake. So not bad. I'll give that to the uh, to the giveaway as well. Quite a few things are probably going to end up in that Christmas in July. Stay tuned to the end because I'm going to have a question for you uh, regarding that. That is $5.29 for that two swim jigs and four, four tails. <clears throat> that, to me, is a really good bargain. Next to last. <coughs> Excuse me. Next to last, Carl's Amazing Baits Kicker Crawl. Again, right alongside with the Googans, Carl's is the Shop Carl's Catch Co. in-house brand. It's just not connected with the... the uh, publicity of the Guggen Squad, but here you've got a four, five, six, seven count, seven count, and an apple juice style color with green and blue fleck and a little bit of black, green, blue, and black flake, and a tiny little craw trailer. Again, this is great for winter. It's a, you know, a more Natural color, good for clear water, um, which you're going to have a lot less in the water right now during the cold months. Nice little subtle paddles, six little appendages on the side. Great for, for slow rolling on a, on a jig, um, either a, you know, a natural rubber jig or even like a hair jig on the bottom. Jigging that up and down, that'll work really well. The Carl's Amazing Kicker Craw is $3.99. That is good value to me. Um, for seven count for four dollars, that's not bad. And finally, one more Guggen Squad product. We've got the Guggen Squad's sample pack for two dollars. So it's a dollar one for each hook. You've got a three aught and a four aught worm hook. So they call these the Guggen Squad's hammer hooks. They are a heavy gauge wire for their size. Um, I'm an owner kind of fan, and, you know, uh, I haven't really tried these, but a 3 aught and a 4 aught, you get a little sample pack, a dollar each hook, eh, whatever. It's in a collab with Catchco. I do say that they do have stout wire. Um, I've not really had uh, much experience with the Guggen Squad hooks themselves, other than the ones that come on Guggen Squad baits. Uh, and I haven't had any problems with hookups on Guggen Squad jerk baits, the Guggen Squad's um, crank baits. Uh, the blooper, haven't had any problems. So that's a good thing. Uh, $2 for that. And in the end, what we all, the piece de resistance, we all wait for, 
that is our Catch Go sticker of the month. Or our, our decal of the month. That's pretty cool. Really peeved off fish with a hook in his lip. <laughs> Obviously not a fan of body piercings. Um, that's cool. I like that. Pretty mean looking fish. Stick him up here. <laughs> All righty. So real quick recap and then a quick question. So we got the River to Seas Goon. That's $11.99. The Strike Pros uh, Beakster. That's $9.99. The Lunker Hunt Gambit Swim Bait for $8.29. The Liquid Mayhem's Thrust Minnows with the Liquid Mayhem's uh, Scent and Attractant for $7.49. Guggen Squad Zinger is going to be $6.49. The Weston's Senko Stick Worm is $5.99. The Dynamic Lures Sneak Attack Swim Jig, two jig heads and three tails. Or four tails, excuse me, four tails uh, for $5.29. That's good value. Carl's Amazing Baits Kicker Craws, another good value, $3.99. And finally, the Guggen Squad's Heavy Hammer, two-pack of hooks for $2. That's not bad. Um, check out No Redemption uh, Outdoors. Um, check out, uh, you know, Burley Fish. There's a lot of the guys out there. Check out their January boxes. It, it's a little bit different than this one. It's a lot different than this one. Uh, real quick update. Uh, as you probably were aware from a few episodes back, uh, I was waiting on a rod to go with the SLX DC left-handed 151 HG reel that I bought. The rod was ordered back in November. It took until the 22nd of December for it to arrive here. And my postman, which I'm going to give him a heck of a good, um, you know, Christmas slash thank you card, uh, next year as well, um, didn't even deliver it. It came so damaged, the box was literally bent in half. He immediately returned it back um, for replacement. So I appreciate that. He, rather than have me disappointed, he was just like, nope, it, it was destroyed. I sent it right back uh, when it finally showed up. So it took from November, from November the 12th until the end of December uh, to finally arrive and during that period where it was held in Texas for God knows how long, it had been beating the crap out of. So, uh, eh, so we're going to wait on that. Hopefully I'll get that replacement sometime in January, February. Who knows how long this is going to take as things go on with, uh, you know, with post. <clears throat> that said, quick question. I like to add a little bit of uh, addition to this. So for January, comment down below. One or two of your favorite January baits. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick three different bait styles from all the comments down below in this video. And I'm going to go pick out those three styles on my local shopping list and add those to my Christmas in July, um, you know, giveaway package. So three random people are going to get one of their multitude of styles of baits. So say somebody wants a jerk bait and they give me a specific color that they like to use. It's kind of their go-to during the cold January month. Um, comment down below. Tell me what you what you think about it. What, what appe appeals to you about that style of bait. And I will go find one that represents that and I will add it to the July giveaway. And I'm going to do that just to get a little more input from you out there because I want the interaction. I enjoy the comments down below. I enjoy reading with you. I enjoy, you know, communicating with you. And I always appreciate those who get a hold of me on uh, on Twitter, on Facebook, on well, not so much on Facebook but, because that's pretty much dead. But on uh, on my Twitter side, on um, you know the, the social media as well as down here in the comments and on the subject lines in uh, this YouTube channel. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to that 1,000 subscribers eventually. And, uh, and then I have, obviously, a huge giveaway uh, when that benchmark is hit. Until next time, as always, keep your lines wet, keep your sticks high. Best of the best luck to all you out there fishing in this cold weather. If you got ice, be safe, be careful, fish with a friend. Uh, if you're out on the ice, I always like to have partners uh, when I'm on fishing trips and I don't fish the ice. So that risk is not something I'm willing to put uh, forth. So if you're out there and you're a nice fisherman, I don't care how skillful you are, you know, fish with a buddy or at least n let people know where you're at and what you're doing so that if God forbid something bad happens, 
you've got yourself covered. Uh, with all that said and done, I'll catch you on the next cast, Fishaholics. Or Hookaholics. Peace. Bye, guys.